Hello everybody, I'm Paruiz and this is our 33rd video in PyQt5 GUI, PyQt5 GUI programming with Python 3. Uh, in the last video we have uh, covered how you can convert your uh, PyQt5 application to executable. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, uh, connect your PyQt5 application to MySQL database. Uh, in this uh, video, we are using WAMP server. Uh, the first thing you need, you should install WAMP server uh, if you don't have. And also, we need a Python uh, package that is MySQL client uh, for connecting uh, to database. Uh, for installing that, you can simply in your uh, terminal you can uh, install through the pip. Uh, pip install MySQL client like this and hit enter it will be installed mysql client okay uh, after that open your uh, WAMP server let me open and we are going to make a new uh, database in our WAMP server let me start that after that I'm going to open my PHP my admin and uh, now I'm going to create a new database uh, PyQt5 at name of PyQt5 uh, like this and uh, uh, right now uh, there's no table in this uh, database because we don't need uh, in the next videos we will add tables to this uh, but for right now we just need uh, to create a database at name of PyQt5. Okay. Uh, after that, and after installing uh, MySQL client, open your PyCharm and make a new Python file. I call it uh, Py PyQt5 database, like this. Okay. Uh, like previous videos, I sh I'm going to copy my window uh, code, the basic window codes to here like this after that I change the title to PyQt5 PyQ uh, connecting database connecting database uh, okay now you need some imports uh, the first thing uh, I'm going to import uh, that is a Q push button, a Q push button, and also I need a Q message box like this. After that, I'm going to import um, MySQL DB as uh, I give it M DB like this. After that, uh, you should make a button in here self dot button Q push button and uh, I give uh, DB connection status like this self uh, after that set the geometry for your button dot set geometry uh, I give the geometry to 100 uh, by 100 Mm, 250 okay uh, now if I run this I have a nice button DB connection status okay now we are going to define a method in here def uh, connect DB like this uh, after that make a try db mdb dot connect okay it needs some parameters the first one is uh, the we give it local host uh, the the first one the second one is the username uh, my one server username is root uh, the third one is password I don't have any password and the fourth one is uh, your database name and that is my database name is PyQt5. Okay. 
Uh, after that, I'm going to make a queue message box. Queue message box dot about uh, and uh, connection. And I write uh, successfully successfully connected connected to DB like this okay after that we are giving accept accept mdb dot error as e okay now in here you we are going to make another q message box dot uh, about self uh, connection like this and we are in here we should say mm, not connected successfully connected successfully like this okay after that exit your application like this okay uh, now this was our connect db uh, method uh, after that in your button you should connect this self dot button dot uh, connect uh, sorry I self dot button dot collect dot connect like this uh, self dot connect db okay uh, now this is our complete uh, code uh, now I'm going to run this hopefully we don't get any error okay now everything is okay we have uh, localhost we have root and we have a database at name of pyqt5 if I click on DB connection, you can see successfully connected to database. But if I change, for example, I change this PyQt like this, and uh, I don't have any database at name of PyQt. If I run this again, and if I click on DB connection, you can see not connected successfully, and the application is terminated. If I change this to again to PyQt5, and if I run this. DB connection status, you can see successfully connected to database. Uh, thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, uh, please subscribe my channel.